Hallelujah. A wonderful day again that God has blessed us with. No matter what the weather is like outside. It's a day that the Lord has made. And um, we're going to start and we're going to go back. Um, verse 1 to verse 8. Remember we are in Psalm 119. Right? So we're looking at verses 1 to 8. And it says, Blessed are they whose ways are blameless, who walk according to the law of the Lord. Blessed are they who keep his statutes and seek him with all their heart. They do nothing wrong. They walk in his ways. You have laid down precepts that are to be fully obeyed. Oh, that my ways were steadfast in obeying your decrees. Then I would not be put to shame. When I com consider all your commands, I will praise you with an upright heart as I learn your righteous laws. I will obey your decrees. Do not utterly forsake me. Praise his name. So when we look at this, right away, the the writer of the psalm is saying that persons are blessed whose ways, whose are following the way of the Lord. You want a blessing? You want to say that you are blessed? You know, we love to use that phrase, I am blessed and highly favored. And if you want to be blessed and highly favored, God's word is the place to start. It is the place where we can find our foundation. It is the place where we understand that our ways now become blameless. When we, God's word helps us and brings us in. It is like a framework from which we can stand, which can guide us as we go along. And so I want to encourage us to not only to read God's word, not only to study God's word, but to be obedient to God's word. Yesterday we said, let's learn a verse, but I want us to, to not only to have it in our heart, but let it flow out to our actions. We want a blessing. And a lot of times we, we may even get caught up you know, as, as believers, we spend a lot of time, we may listen to music, and we spend a lot of time, we may even be in prayer. But when it comes to having a, a blessed life and truly following God, it is when we have to follow His Word. So it is not just listening to music, which is good. It is not just praying, which is excellent, but it is following having God's word in our heart and letting it flow out to our actions. So Father, today, as we go forward in our, in our lives, that truly your word will guide us, that truly we would live according to your laws and to your statutes, then we know that our lives will be blessed. And we thank you for this blessing. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a wonderful, God-filled day.